Well, signal processing is a relatively recent field, but it has a very long history. The roots of signal processing started back with numerical techniques for solving uh, complicated equations. And people that worked on these things included uh, real well-known physicists, mathematicians, and so on, such as, as Newton and uh, Euler, uh, Gauss, uh, Fourier. Some of these names will come up as we uh, work in, in this area, and so on. There's a number of people that, that developed numerical techniques for solving equations that they were interested in studying in, in, that, in their era. Well, more recently, in the 19... 30s and the 1940s was the advent of radar, uh, spread spectrum, communications, and the big driver here was World War II. Okay? There was a lot of interest in being able to detect airplanes and communicate in a secure manner. We had uh, the development of analog techniques uh, for processing signals. And then, of course, the uh, first digital computers. And uh, as we moved on into the, the 60s, what happened was signal processing uh, was driven by large industries, by the uh, uh, communications, and oil exploration and the space program as well, going to the moon. Okay, because the availability of, of the types of computers and so on that could, could perform signal processing was limited to fairly large industries. So then we uh, moved on to a very significant event in 1965 when, when uh, Cooley and Tukey uh, came up with the FFT. Okay, now the FFT is a numerical technique for computing Fourier uh, representations. And it turned out that the F, the first F in FFT stands, out, stands for fast. So it turns out that this algorithm was much faster than any other way of computing. And given the limited computing resources of the day, this was a huge uh, invention that really advanced the field because it enabled things to be computed that previously couldn't be computed. Well, it turns out that later uh, historical research has revealed that Cooley and Tukey actually rediscovered an algorithm that Gauss had invented uh, quite some time ago. So um, as we moved into the 1970s, uh, we had the development of uh, FFT algorithms for many different uh, scenarios. There was an emphasis on uh, filter design. How do we design digital filters? And uh, a predecessor of the textbook that we're using in our ECE 431 class was also uh, came out and that was uh, Oppenheim and Schaefer, who wrote the, uh, oops, I got that wrong, it's, let's scratch that, it's EI. They wrote a textbook in 1975 that was called Digital Signal Processing. Well, in the 80s, things just began to explode with applications, and uh, we had the uh, compact disc, which used a lot of signal processing, uh, remote sensing, uh, medical imaging, and uh, more communications. The first uh, DSP chipsets were invented in the came out in the 80s, and they allowed one to do very fast uh, computation of the types of operations associated with signal processing. As we moved into the 1990s. Uh, DSP became a standard technique, and um, I remember in the 80s that uh, many universities were hiring people in the field, faculty in the field of signal processing, because they recognized those that 
you know, didn't have people coming up through the radar and communications areas who changed their, their uh, research and their teaching into signal processing. Uh, schools that didn't have that were hiring in the 80s and into the early 90s because it was recognized as being so standard. Uh, the uh, chipsets became more and more common and widely used and DSP moved a lot into uh, the consumer electronics realm. And then of course, uh, 2000s and beyond, we've just the range of applications has uh, exploded for signal processing from analyzing uh, networks, lar uh, large sensing systems, as well as uh, all the proliferation of consumer electronics with smartphones and so on, advent of uh, wider adoption of the web and so on. It just really exploded. So you can find them in your car, you can find them everywhere. And that kind of brings us to where we are today with the field of signal processing.